Hi. Quite a few people have asked me to show how I'm converting my course from a Blackboard course to a Canvas course. So I thought I'd walk you through um, the design phase of this. So first I'm going to show you the Blackboard course I started with. And you'll see over here in the left panel there are some elements like virtual classroom and learning notebook um, and announcements and course information. Um, those are important because you'll see them in the new class. Um, when I go over to Canvas, what you see now is a place called Pages, and in Pages you see Course Info, Testing Info, Website Info, Virtual Classroom, Learning Notebook, those same types of things. I've rearranged a little bit because it's a new semester and it's an online course this time. So there's a little bit more information there. So these are all now all page links, and each clicking on each one of these sends us to a page. So I'm going to go back to Blackboard here to show you the Virtual Classroom because this is where the majority of my content lives. So in the virtual classroom in Blackboard, it was organized by chapters, and um, each of those chapters contains material inside of it. So if I go into Chapter 2, there's a formula sheet, um, there's subsections with learning objectives on the fronts of the, of the folders, and when you go into one of these subsections, say like this one right here, you see um, various activities to do. Okay, so now we'll, we'll duplicate that in Canvas. So going into Unit 2, in the virtual classroom. We'll... So here's unit two in Canvas, and you'll see that those, um, what were the subfolders, are now organized at the top here. And um, I've put in little banners to make it a little bit nicer to look at. And then all of the exam information, which was the bottom folder of those subfolders, is on this front page now. I've also started putting um, anything that needs to be printed in a green um, highlight and anything that can be watched in a yellow highlight as you travel through these to make it a little easier on the students. We'll go ahead and dive into that very same section. So recall that in Blackboard we started here, section 2.2 with the learning objectives on the folder, and going into the folder there were several um, items in here. This was a worksheet to print. This was something worked out in a video. Here's what I've rearranged it to look like in Canvas. Um, and maybe I'll actually just start by showing you how it came in the first time. So I can go into page history here and see the very first way it came in. You'll see the learning objectives that were on the folder are now at the top. And then the items came in. Anything that was hyperlinked comes in properly. Anything that was a file attachment has to be manually relinked. So I'm going to go back to the way it looks now. I'll go back through my revisions here. And you'll see that outside links get blue highlights. Again, videos get yellow highlights. And um, anything to print gets a green highlight. Um, I've also started putting in thumbnails of the documents so that they it looks a little bit more visual and they can see what it is they might want to open. And the learning objectives now fall right underneath the headings. So um, within this, I have kind of topic areas with learning objectives underneath that, those used to be on the folders, and then the directions on what they should do for that topic. So same thing here, here's the topic, here's the learning objective, here's the activity, there's a thumbnail, print this activity, watch this video, etc. I want to show you one other section, so let me jump back here into 2.3, and again I'm going to mimic this in Blackboard so you can see the back and forth redesign of this. So again, in 2.3, you see all the objectives on the outside of the folder. Going into it here, there's video lessons and limit laws and um, activities inside here. Seeing this in Canvas, again, we'll maybe start by going to the original way it came in. So you can just kind of get a sense for what has to change. So here's how it was listed originally. All of those objectives that were on the folder are now at the top and then the subfolders essentially get listed underneath. Um, videos are all there. Um, if they were hyperlinks, anything that was a file attachment like this right here, print this page of limit laws, that was not, that was a file attachment, so I'll have to relink that. So I'm going to go back to the new page. Um, so you'll see again I have the topic at the top, then the learning objectives underneath it, and then the activities. Um, in green, the printed things to print, in yellow, things to watch thumbnails of what will happen here. Of course the student can preview the document as well, but I still think that our students are pretty visually oriented and they need to actually see a thumbnail of that document. Um, so I've skipped that in most cases.
So if they do click on that little thumbnail, they will see the full document in here. Um, they don't actually have to open it in a new tab. They can print it or take it to full screen, which is a nice option right there. And they can exit full screen to go back. Um, so um, I hope that gives you a, a little bit better sense. I'm going to reload this page here of um, how I'm rearranging the content to um, fit in Canvas. It's, it's basically a matter of taking what was folders and subfolders and turning it into pages and subpages. Everything comes in um, from the import from Blackboard with the pages and subpages um, all constructed for you. It's really just a matter of kind of designing differently. We don't have things in boxes anymore. So um, one of the things I've tried to do here is just keep with the standard settings that Canvas has. So like this right here is just heading to this um, text that's all in here um, below applying the limit laws. This text is all just the standard font size. Um, it's a paragraph format um, with bullet points. Um, so I'm, I'm just sticking with headed, heading to and paragraph fonts right here. Um, the only place I deviated from that was um, on the main pages page. And when I go into these units, um, like when I went into unit two here, I did bold this right here and go with a slightly larger font size for these um, subsections because it just seemed too small otherwise. Um, and then again, these, these little banners on the top are just images I've added. And it's easy enough to do that. You just go to images over here and upload an image and then it drops in wherever your cursor's at actually. So put your cursor where you want it and it'll just automatically fall in place. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, that's kind of a little tour of at least the virtual classroom portion of my course. Um, there's, of course, a whole lot of other stuff here, but that's stuff that students are in, so I'm not going to show you those things.